Emilio with Mahalo Daily. What would motivate you to send a robot to the moon? Well, how about $30 million? Today, we're going to learn about the Google Lunar X Prize. The revolution begins here. In an effort to inspire lunar exploration among a new generation of space fans, Google and the XPRIZE Foundation have created the $30 million Google Lunar X Prize. The prize was announced a little over a year ago and has received tremendous support from an international audience. Teams must land and operate a rover on the moon's surface for at least 500 meters and send back high-definition images by December 31st, 2012. What inspired the Google Lunar X Prize to even get started? Sure. So, uh, you know, a lot of us here at the XPRIZE Foundation and also at Google, our, our partners in this, are, you know, space geeks at heart. Uh, grew up watching the shuttle program or before that the Apollo and programs like that. Uh, and realized that space is, is something that really can light a fire under uh, people of all ages all around the world, get them excited about science and technology. And in addition to all those nice educational goals, actually has some real science and technological direct impact on, on the lives of people today. Uh, so as space agencies, not only here in the U.S., but around the world, uh, start looking at the moon again, you know, it, the moon was the object of all of our fascination in the late 60s and early 70s, but we've really forgotten about it since then. Uh, the last time something was on the lunar surface was when the Soviets left in 1976. Uh, but now everyone is starting to go back, and we have two spacecraft currently in orbit around the moon. We have more, more uh, that will be coming in the next couple months. So we said, okay, it, it's now time to start shifting our, our research in that direction once again and, and really thinking about how when we go back to the moon this time, uh, it can be done in a way that's not just restricted to government space agencies and to 12 lucky guys who get, who get to hop around on the surface, uh, but it can involve you know, all of us in, in some way, whether that's uh, through telerobotics or you know, cool online presentations, things like that. Um, so we said maybe there is a prize that we can put out there that will allow very small, very entrepreneurial, cutting-edge companies uh, from around the world to sort of stake their claim and, and, and make their place in this industry and really uh, lower the cost and lower the barrier of entry so that the opportunities in lunar exploration can increase for all of us. Now, what do the teams actually have to do to, to win the prize? Sure. <laughs> To win the Google Lunar X Prize, a privately funded team, so this is not NASA or another government space agency, this is a private group of individuals from anywhere in the world, has to actually land a robot on the surface of the moon, for real. They have to explore the lunar surface by roaming around for a half a kilometer, about a third of a mile. Uh, and then they have to take two packages of high definition video and very high resolution images that we call moon casts. Uh, and they have to return them back to the, to the surface of the Earth for you know, adoring fans around the world to watch. Now what kind of timeline are the teams on? When do they have to do this by? So uh, we have an expiration date on the prize. The prize expires altogether at the end of 2014. Uh, and it actually sounds weird to say that, doesn't it? It, it 2014. is. It is. It is. Uh, but and you know, it's for a space mission. That's not that far away. A lot of the big space missions, you know, are a decade in the planning. Mm -hmm. um, so for us to put that that threshold out there, you know, six years away now, um, it, it's pretty tight. We also to give people an extra incentive to start working soon. Uh, the prize value actually dips at the end of uh, at the end of 2012. So our 30 million dollars in prizes is actually split up a couple different ways. Right now, there's a 20 million dollar grand prize. Uh, and that will decrease to a $15 million prize if no one's picked it up uh, by January 1, 2013. So we really wanted people not to sit on this idea and think about and say, oh, maybe I'll get to it next year, but to, to hit the ground running. And, and, and that's why we uh, put that, that uh, sort of stair step down in there. And finally, where can people follow along to see how this is progressing? There, there are a number of ways people can follow along. Uh, Online is the best one to do it. As you can imagine, with Google being our sponsor, uh, we're very attuned to trying to make sure that, that we have a presence in all the emerging internet sites. So uh, obviously people can go to our own website, which is googlelunarxprize.org. Uh, we also have a new space blog that covers this prize, as well as a number of our other space activities. That's called The Launchpad. It's the launchpad at xprize.org. Uh, we have presences on you know, MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, all, all kinds of the, the new things. People can follow that. But we also try to hold public events every once in a while because we realize that there are a number of people out there who you know, maybe are watching this video or have heard about the prize 
and say, I want to participate. I want to be on a team. I don't, I don't know what it takes to make my own team, but maybe I can join someone else's team or maybe I can meet the right group of people and, and we can band together and form our own team. Uh, so we haven't announced the date for the next one of those, but we will continue to do those. We think it's, it's very important to our mission and it's something that's really going to help the teams and let more people get involved. So uh, your, your viewers can follow along on Google and RxPrize.org to find those dates. Will, thank you so much for your time and uh, be sure to follow along and see what happens over the next few years. Yeah, my pleasure. Happy to do it. For more information, go to mahalo.com slash Google Lunar X Prize. Well, that's it from the X Prize Foundation in Santa Monica, California. For Mahalo Daily, I'm Leah D'Amelio. We'll see you next time.